we are seeing a great deal of emphasis on using alcohol-based hand sanitizers. They are meant to keep us safe from the threat of the novel coronavirus disease. But is that the only way? Do we really need to buy hand sanitizers for use at home? Won't soap and water suffice? This video will give you a quick answer with a brief explanation. Hand washing with soap and water is ideal because it reduces all types of germs on our hands. When it comes to certain germs and chemicals, hand sanitizers are just not as effective as soap and water. But then, what if you're in a situation where there's no soap and no water? Definitely, a hand sanitizer will help us avoid getting sick and spreading germs to others. When we use hand sanitizers, we need to make sure that an ample amount is used and it shouldn't be wiped off before it is dry. Yes, the amount used matters. Too little will not keep you safe. So make sure to use the recommended amount stated on the label. A couple of advantages of hand sanitizers are that they take much lesser time to do the job and they are gentler on our hands and not as abrasive as soaps. But we also need to keep in mind that hand sanitizers do not work well when our hands are visibly soiled or greasy. At such times, it's best to use soap and water. So long story short, both work. But when you have a choice, always pick soap and water. But an important question we need to ask ourselves about this is, how long should we wash our hands for? The widely stated duration is 20 seconds. But is 20 seconds enough? It's a minimum. The main objective is to have clean hands. It could easily take longer than 20 seconds to cover each and every area of our hands. Which are commonly missed parts, you ask? Thumbs, fingertips, areas between the fingers are often missed. And don't forget the back of your hands. Back of your hands are frequently neglected. Washing is not just about long enough, but also well enough. Many of our friends may be unaware of this. Educate them, or better still, share this video with them, and they will know better. Stay safe and help everyone stay safe. Now here's a question for you. How does something as simple as a soap work in eliminating the coronavirus? That will be the topic of the next lesson.